Great, so I'm, I'm here with Robin from Flexible Zone Technologies. Well, how about you talk us through what you're offering here on the booth? Yes. Um, well, Flexible Circuit Technologies, uh, we are a manufacturer, a designer of um, flexible printed circuit boards, uh, flex and flex rigids. The uh, main advantage of a flexible circuit is that it is um, a lot thinner, obviously, than a rigid board. Uh, and it is flexible, which is uh, the main added value uh, to itself. Um, it's being used in um, all different kinds of applications. This is specifically a very cool design. This is the um, Nike Fuel Band circuit uh, that we uh, helped design and, and, and built into the, into the wearables that are sold today uh, by, uh, by Nike. Um, applications are uh, uh, very broad. Uh, there's um, uh, parts that are used for um, uh, uh, drug application, uh, insulin. So this is a skin patch delivery device? For, so like yes, a, a skin patch. Electrophoretic delivery of exactly. insulin. Exactly, it goes in onto your arm and uh, it would uh, deliver uh, uh, the drugs needed for the patient. This here is a, uh, uh, an oxygen sensor that has uh, LEDs here and sensors there. And it uh, monitors real time the oxygen level in the patient while it is on the uh, surgery table. Uh, and uh, the surgeon can, can see uh, uh, if the patient is still alive. No. Sure. <laughs> it's always good to know in that situation. In that situation uh, specifically, yes. And, so, and you're using printing technologies, specific like serpentine traces and on flexible... Um, well, actually, the, these most of the, of, of the flex circuits are not printed, they are okay. uh, etched. Etching, right. So you are okay. laminating um, uh, uh, um, sheets and you etch out the excess material and you leave your traces over and that's, that becomes your circuit. Um, that's actually a heater with traces that have uh, different thicknesses. So uh, the material content is a nickel copper or copper nickel I should say. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you put a current through it, the resistance of the nickel in the alloy generates the heat uh, and you can vary the temperature uh, by either putting current through the thinner or thicker uh, uh, traces. Oh, I see. I in see the, how you in vary the, them. So instead of varying the voltage input, you vary the where the yeah. current is applied and the, the, exactly. the heating changes. Exactly. Yeah. Very interesting. So, so in, in wearable products, we talk about flexibility all the time. Exactly. And uh, you mentioned the Nike Fuel Band. I guess ultimately the product will be slightly rigid. But when it comes to to fully flexible devices. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's what are the main challenges that you see, and how do you meet them? Um, well, a flexible circuit is not only a electronic device; it is just as well a mechanical device. So, the challenges are in how to design your circuit in a way that it it stays uh, 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 whole; it, it, it doesn't sure. break. Right. Um, if you bend a circuit, you will get your stretching on the outside and your compression on the inside. Mm -hmm. So that's a very mechanical uh, uh, situation basically. Sure. So how do you avoid that when it is an active part and you keep on bending it for a hundred thousand times, mm -hmm. it still keeps on working. Uh, and then using your knowledge in, in how to uh, use your materials, copper in a way, variating the thicknesses or pure design, it stays a, a device that keeps on working. Fantastic. And I guess, and I guess you have all the equipment set up for, for stress testing these and yes, also, test the destruction. Yeah, and we would get um, uh, requirements from the customer to what extent it needs to be uh, tested, and we would follow that script and um, come to a working product. Hopefully, um, I have to say that uh, we are very pleased with uh, with the show itself. Our organization has been done very professional. Professional. Uh, and the quality of the visitors is, uh, is very high. Um, we've had very interesting discussions with potential customers for us as well. Uh, actual, some, some prints have been shared with us to see if we can offer a, a quote for, uh, for a part that they need. Um, so overall, uh, very happy with uh, the first day um, and we're looking forward to the second.